I crushed my knuckles. Son of a bitch. He pulls trainers out there. Got a plate in here. Led to that broken hand. We got to fix this dog up ASAP or uh, someone's going to get hurt. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. If you look behind us, in that car right there is a 150 pound Great Dane. Uh, he's somewhere between 10 and 12 months old and I'll let the owners tell you what happened, but we gotta fix this dog up ASAP or uh, someone's gonna get hurt. See you in a short bit. So what possessed you to drive five hours to come all the way down here and see us? This. <laughs> Let's pull him out on that leash. I was in the garage with Duke and he was just following me just fine. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what he heard. He just pulled me. So he pulled me a good 10 feet, I wanna say, because I ended up outside of the garage. Stay, <laughs> come on, baby, uh -uh. stay, stay, come on, baby. What a horse. I was stay. flying, I was flying. Uh, there was no time for me to let go of the leash or do anything. It happened so quickly. No barking, no anything, just took off. Okay. <laughs> barely got a grip there, huh? Yeah, I got this last God, he's very powerful. Very powerful. And you, you see his breathing? He doesn't care. Yeah, he's hurting himself. Yeah. He yeah, just, it's he not good care. for his trachea. Is that the one and only time that he's ever pulled you? No, no, that's why I went. This is my third training. He grows so quickly that he's overpowering us. So one of the things I'm gonna tell you guys, uh -huh. so you're telling him stay and he's going. Yeah. Do you know what he thinks stay means? Pull harder. Okay. I'm telling you right now. Okay. He doesn't speak English, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so let me at least hook you up to this. All right, who wants to try to walk him? <laughs> I, oh, Lord have mercy, that dog pulls. Gavin, are you faking this for the camera? I crushed my knuckle, which according to the orthopedic, I will never be able to have the same function with my ring finger. It broke here in the wrist area. So you broke like two or three places? Yes. Lord have mercy, <laughs> look at him go. Is this what walking looks like typically? You're about to go for a ride, Gavin. So there's not even a dog in sight yet. And this is how he pulls. If we pull a dog out, I think you're going for a, a ride. I'm gonna heal. She told me like, she told me to pull back like this. Yeah, she's, but, that's because she doesn't know what she's talking about, uh, unfortunately. So. Just pull back like this, it's not gonna work. As yes. you can see, yes. it's not doing a thing to him. No. He could care less. And I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at her. I'm mad at shitty trainers out there that don't know how to train dogs, purely positive community, led to that broken hand because they didn't want to put the proper brakes on this dog. And that dog drug her down to the ground and she broke her hand. And now what's worse is the poor dog, who's now a year old, 150 pounds, I have to do a lot of cleanup work to fix up what that, what that trainer messed up. We got 10 months of BS. And I'm not a wuss. This dog pulls like a freaking freight train. We start young. We start with a trainer that knows what they're doing, a balanced trainer that's not afraid to use the proper tools, knowing what you're about to have. What a joke. Oh, just put the little martingale collar on and you'll be fine. Pull back. Get the hell out of here. There is not even a distraction out here. Just some smells. Son of a bitch, he pulls. So there's something interesting about Great Danes. He's 150 pounds. That's not the heaviest dog I've ever dealt with, but something with the bone structure. When they pull, it's unlike anything else. It's, it's a per pound. They got a lot of torque. This thing's like a tractor. That dog is, I don't know, 40 yards away, maybe more. And he's already getting jacked up. And just so you know what you're doing, Gavin, you're telling him stay doesn't have a clue what you're telling him. He doesn't know what stay means. We do the same thing to our police dogs when we want them to go eat somebody. We go, you see that bad man? You're just saying stay, stay. No, stay is stay. Don't even think about moving. Don't let your motor up. Beautiful dog, by the way. Thank you. So this looks like a medieval device, but it's, it's mama's teeth, okay? Wrap it around his arm. See what it feels like, yeah. okay? And so no offense, but the dog has no respect right now, none. I mean, maybe in your house, I can tell he's a gentle giant, but when he's outside and he's in drive and he wants to smell other dogs. There's no gentleness You're telling him stay, you're telling him heal, you told him stay in the car and he popped out on you, mm -hmm. so. Took him to the dog park and just to make sure that he was not pulling me, I had to 
hold, anchor myself to a pole while I was holding him because I didn't want to be dragged. I said, you're not dragging me. <laughs> so I'm like, stay here. This is after the accident. We took him to the dog park again because we want to make sure that he socialized. And Gavin ran into a sign. There was a sign, <laughs> and he ran into a sign. This is like cartoon stuff. Yeah. We should just follow you guys around with the camera. You yeah. guys would be a million subscribers in it just a few funny, months. It sounds funny, but at that moment, I mean, Adventures of Duke. Thank God he's a nice dog, though. Look at this. He can kiss me. I don't even barely have to bend over. You good, buddy? <laughs> All right. Let's say we, this is just consider this pressure on him. It's pressure. There's only one way to turn the pressure off. Go with it. Yeah. So check this one out. He's going to get his first little introduction to it right now. Watch the dog. Yes. We think of this tool somewhere between one and 10. That's a one. I'm charging up. When you feel the pop, come to me. I have something good for you. It's not a death sentence. It's actually a good thing. I'm, I'm kind of figuring out what he can handle. And also, again, see, he's a little more hesitant now. He's, you sure I can have that? Yes, you can, but you have to come to me after. Okay? Making sense? It's already slowing his roll. <laughs> Is this hurting her? We don't have to do this. Hope it works. Oh, it'll work. It's, I promise you. I promise you. I just want to make sure she's okay with what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It just looks like it's gonna work. It's gonna work, I promise you. I told you that. We get it done in one session. Uh, so these are tears of joy? I just wanna confirm. Yeah. Okay, stand by, we'll make this work. Do you have a dog that rips you out of your front door or drags you down the street? Do you have to conduct surveillance operations before you take your dog outside because you know it's gonna act like a wild animal when it encounters another dog or person on the walk? Are you embarrassed? that your neighbors say, here comes that damn dog again, and they have to cross the street to avoid you because you can't control your pet. If the idea of walking your dog raises your blood pressure instead of lowering it, then you're doing it wrong. But don't worry, Uncle Garrett is here to help you walk your dog like a pro. My name is Garrett Wing. I am owner and founder of DIYK9.com. And with over 20 years experience training police and civilian pet dogs alike, I have put together an easy to follow do-it-yourself course called The Perfect Walk. This course is designed with one mission in mind, and that is to have every single dog and puppy walk perfectly on the leash no matter what. In this kick-ass course, we cover how to take back ownership of your walk and gain the confidence you need to lead your dog or puppy on a perfect walk anywhere you wanna go. How to easily train your dog to ignore distractions and keep their focus on you no matter what might trigger them and how professional dog trainers use the leash to successfully communicate with their dogs and amazing bonus content such as how to stop unwanted strangers from petting you or your dog, the best way to introduce your dog to another dog, and what to do if a dog suddenly attacks your dog, and so much more. Our course is designed for dogs of all ages, breeds, and issues, and regardless of your age, your training level or experience, I am confident that our course will absolutely transform your walk in as little as one session. Perfect walk. Perfect walk, that's right. But don't take it from me. Check out our website where you can see reviews from people all over the world who have tried our methods and achieved incredible results in just their first walk. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to put an end to your dog's horrible leash manners and obtain the perfect walk today, then click the link below before this limited time offer ends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the courses. Just want to let you know, like, this is not bothering him in the slightest. You'll know when it's bothering him. Good boy, huh? Get you some of that. He's got to stay with me, follow the leader. But you're going to start to see him pay more attention to what I'm doing. Why is he following me now? Why is he following me? I got hot dogs. He's, he's over the hot dogs. So uh, tell us what either your trainer had told you or what you guys are trying to do with treats when it comes to his level of distraction. When, whenever you want something accomplished, you just put the treat in front of him. Okay. But if he doesn't want that treat because he's focused on something else, that treat's not going to do anything. Right. So then. What if you had a T-bone steak? He doesn't care. It doesn't matter what you put oh. in it. So then how do you get him to pay attention to you? Oh, you just have to pull him and hold him. Okay. So the other thing that happens, let's say he does take the treat. That's even worse because now we're saying, when you watch and pull me and try to target lock on a dog, I will pay you, I will pay you, I will pay you. You're doing a great job. Sure. So that's where, again, it, it's, it's wrong. What we do instead now is if we can break his attention off of that, then you could pay him. What time is it? 
<laughs> Slabo clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's get back to it. Everything you experienced, the more you pull him back on that flat collar, the more he pulls forward to fight it. It's simple. We're standing on a thousand foot cliff. The grass represents death. <laughs> Don't fall to your death. That's opposition reflex, okay? All right, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> now we'll do it the other way. If you fall backwards, you die. Mm -hmm. The more I pull him back, the more he's like gonna pull forward. And that's the game you've been playing with him. So instead we need to teach him, go with the pressure. A little bit of pressure. What is it? Wait for it. Oh, he went with it. He went with it, but then he went flat. That doesn't turn the pressure off. By the way, I'll take this over pulling any yeah, day of the week. So. If he just goes flat, fine, but we can do better than that. When we teach leash pressure, it must be taught left, right, forward, backward, mm -hmm. up, and down. They're all independent oh, of each other. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Here's a right one. Look at that. Good boy. Do you want this or no? See, see how so much he's paying attention to me? Laid out. Yes. yes. All right. Might not be 100. I eventually want 80, 20. Right now, we're like, eh, maybe 50, 50. Maybe we're 80, 20. It's better than what we had before, which was 100, yeah. zero. Relax that left hand. Relax it, relax that left hand. Relax it all the way down. Yes. Turn right now to your right. For you, your turn is going to be to the right. Keep going. Try to relax that left hand again. Okay. Pop. This has never happened. <laughs> this has never happened. All the way down. Good. Pop, pull, pop, pull. Okay. We're even classically conditioning the leash because I don't want you to pull much more. Right. I want it to be pop and he goes, yep. but he's getting there. And again, I wouldn't say too much talking. Yeah. Let the leash speak. Look at that turn. You can pay him for those. Look, and his energy's up. See the tail wagging? He's happy to be here, hugging you. Woo, follow through all the way to the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so big. It's, it's quite, it's really amazing. I can't believe how easy it's been to just kind of handle him. He's going to be a beautiful dog to walk around every day. Look at that. So awesome. Absolutely not. Good for you. You didn't give him permission to do that. How's it feel? I mean, it's still better, but it, 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 it could be better. I'm this always looking like, for perfection. Am I really walking a dog? I'm not walking anything. I'm That's just holding my be. purse. This is amazing. This is, this is really good. It's the dog I wanted. Um, too bad that I took this to get here. It's been amazing. You're a miracle worker. Thank you. Yeah. And, I, and I didn't uh, think that we could, he could have such a positive change in a few hours with some really good guidance and really appreciate and thank you very much. Thank you. People kept saying like, one class? That's all it takes. I just want him to stop pulling. And yeah, he said he could do it, and look, he did it. Yeah. He did it. He, yes. You're amazing. You're amazing. Oh, thank you very much. You yeah. have a, a great blessing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. We're going to have some more videos like this with some other dogs coming up, some nice before and afters. And uh, I can't thank them enough for driving all the way down here uh, for us to get it on film and give us an opportunity to, to get Duke right. So, thank again, you. thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Love this dog.